All right, we're continuing continuing with our line segment midpoint. Uh, we're on the second one, part two. This says, find the value of x, then find the line segment mn and line segment no, and state whether n is a midpoint of mo. So, oh my gosh, that's a lot. So what we're gonna do is let's draw what they give us. MO is the entire length. How do I know that? N is a midpoint of MO. So what we're doing here is we're assuming N is a midpoint, but we're gonna do this one a little differently than the other one. Here, we're gonna use the line segment addition postulate, which states M, N, plus N, O equals M, O. And I'm gonna use these values. So what we have here, we're going to plug these values given. Into that. And then 20 into ML. So we have x plus 2 plus 2x minus 6 equals 20. Combine like terms, x plus 2x. 3x, 2 minus 6, minus 4, equals 20. Add 4 to both sides. You get 3x equals 24. You need to make a little bit more room, so let me just slide this over. So then we have 3x equals 24. You divide both sides by 3. You get x is equal to 8. So how do we determine if it's a midpoint? Well, if it's a midpoint, or assuming it is, then that means mn has to equal to no using this value of x. So I'm going to equal those out. mn is equal to no. If you're going to call mn is this value, oops, and then we have no is this value. So I'm going to plug those numbers in. So we have x plus 2 equals 2x minus 6. Verified, good, verified, good. Now we have another value of x. So we're going to plug it in into here and go from there. So we have 8 plus 2 equals 2 times 8 minus 6. Eight plus two, ten. Two times eight is sixteen minus six. Ten is equal to ten. Good. So look at that. With ten equals to ten, that means Mn is equal to NO. Therefore, therefore, N is a midpoint to line segment MO. All right. Let's get to uh, part B here in the next video.